Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup. And guys, today I'm sailing out to a new location, just another another resource area. You know, you can never have too many portals to too many continents, and you can never have too much resource. So we're sailing out to plop down a new base. But guys, today I want to get into making a cost-effective cabin that is really easy to toss up whenever we do land on a new island. Because what I want to do is just have these cottages ready to go, man. Just like toss them up and, and be, be ready. So we've brought a few things with us to make that possible today. I have everything that I need to make a forge and a stone cutter on the boat, just those. Um, they're portable. I'm probably gonna keep them on the boat. We don't wanna keep them on us and, we, and we're not looking to establish a full base where we're going. We just want a full 18 comfort rating. Um, we don't need all of the workbenches and the forges and the stone, you know, stone cutter. We don't need all the upgrades for everything. We're gonna have a portal in the house that's gonna take us back to our main base, and that's gonna be what you know what we'll go back to to repair everything. The house is really just for that comfort rating, so that we can have our our 25 minutes of our rested bonus while we're out and exploring. I am kind of sailing in the direction of the, the Yggdrasil tree branch. I really just want to go in that direction and see what's off in this direction. Also trying to get really close to the edge of the map. So we're gonna try and sail as far out as we can. Uh, I'll be sailing for a little while, but yeah, guys, let me go ahead and show off the inventory we brought. So I've got everything that we're gonna need to make you know, everything that we need to get our 18 comfort rating and get our 25 minutes of rested bonus. Also brought as much extra wood as I could carry, honestly, just because I may need to throw some stake walls up just to get some peace and quiet to build with, but uh, yeah, we'll count everything up. I'll get you a list of all the resources here when we're done building so that you know exactly what you need to bring with you uh, to, to throw down one of these cottages. And, you know, wood's so easy to gather everywhere anyway. It's just, it'll be easy enough to bring as much as you want or as little as you want. Anyway, guys, let me sail out to where we're going to throw this down and I'll get to putting it together and we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, it just started storming real hard and we're getting pretty close to the edge of the map, guys. Check this out. So yeah, if we can find a, a continent out here, really close to the underside of the branch of Yggdrasil, we'll set down. But uh, yeah, let me find a good spot to land somewhere. We're out in the middle of the ocean now. I can't even see land. Oh, we did it. We managed to sail through the storm. Oh my gosh. We are getting so close to the edge of the map. I'm kind of nervous. Does it just drop off? What's out here, guys? We may have to take a look real quick before we throw down the cottage. Oh. Why does it do it does? It just seems to end. Does the water just fall off here? I'm really nervous. What is this deep north? Interesting. Oh, we're freezing. Oh, crap, guys. We need to get out of here. Deep north. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's very cold. No, we can't die out here, guys. Oh my gosh. We are. We're gonna die out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh my gosh, we didn't die. Wow. Yeah, dying on the boat out here in the middle of the frozen north. What biome is that? There are biomes I don't know about yet, guys. That's so awesome. Well, I'm gonna have to go sailing Man, in the next episode or two, guys, we may just have to go sailing out and see how many different biomes we can find. I guess that's not too terrible, and we can definitely build here. No problem. Yeah. Let me go ahead and toss up what we... So, yeah, let me sh let me go ahead. We'll, we'll look, take a look at everything we need. So, I'm going to swap out some copper, some iron, a little bit of stone... I think that's everything we need to throw down. We'll need a little wood too. And that's gonna make everything we need to toss up our crafting station. So let's go ahead and pop those up somewhere safe over here. Yeah, we'll toss them all on this rock actually. There's that. There we go, not a problem. With all of those there, now we can really work with everything we have nearby. Yeah, we're gonna clear out this little spot right here. I like this. This is small. 
That's what we're going for. All right, give me just a minute to clear and flatten this. I am going to go ahead and toss the portal up, too, just so that we can make, we can make a trip home real quick to get our rested bonus. That'll make all of this go faster. All right, so we've got us a nice little spot down here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw up uh, just a couple of um, stake walls just to give us a little bit of defense back here. Hopefully not too many things are going to want to wander back here and bother us, but just in case, we're going to toss up a bunch of these. There we go. That should give us enough pri that should give us enough space back here to work with without attracting too much attention. Um, all right, guys, it's getting a little dark. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep through the night, and then we'll come back and start tossing together our little cabin. Okay, it's finally nice and bright out early in the morning. Let's go ahead and start tossing this thing down, guys. I'm gonna start with just a small, tiny four x four flooring. Okay, guys, I actually tore the house down really quick just to show you exactly how much wood it takes to make this thing. And here you go. It takes 162 pieces of wood. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that up again really fast. I'll go ahead and show it being done again really quick. Um, we're just going to make another one identical. 4x4 four four floor. Here we go. Well, guys, we managed to build the whole thing, but I'm actually... I actually still have two pieces of wood. Hmm. Not sure what we did differently. That's the tidiest, tiniest little compact cottage I can think of. It's going to be super cozy, guys. But yeah, we do. We have two more pieces of wood. Not really sure uh, how we had that left over. But there you go. That's it, guys. I'm going to go home. We're going to sleep. We're going to wait for daytime again, and then we're going to decorate this thing get the comfy comfort bonus. All right, guys. So the cottage has been built. We've got our nice little structure there. Let's go ahead and start filling it full of all the things that are going to make it so comfortable. I've got a few things in the inventory. We're going to start off by making the hearth with the stone. We're going to need a bunch of fine wood to craft the dragon bed, and then we're going to put down a bunch of... Um, a bunch of rugs because all the rugs help and then I have extra fine wood for furniture so let's go and decorate the crap out of this place and watch the comfort slowly climb okay I'm gonna start with the the hearth the fire is always the main thing and you really do need this dirt area over here to be able to toss this thing down so go ahead and plop that in and you're still not getting any rested bonus mostly because it's not lit so I have a couple extra pieces of normal wood on me I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing that's got us up to four comfort already the next thing I recommend building is the bed because it is big and I'm not sure how you guys are gonna want to place it um, I prefer to put it over here in the corner I'm just gonna toss it way up in the corner here that's fine gonna jump us up to sick comfort another two you get two for the shelter two for the fire two for the bed now we're gonna go ahead and throw in um, a ch our Raven's throne right about here, right up against the window. So guys, the window that we've built in this house, that's gonna bump us up to nine, guys. The, the, the throne is worth three comfort. 
important. Very nice. Now the window we've built here does expose us, makes it, it makes it so that we don't have the rest of the bonus anymore. I like to counter that by just tossing a table down in front of it. Makes it impossible to walk too close up to the window and lose that bonus. And now that we have the table down, we are up to 10. Very nice. Let's start throwing down carpets, guys. I love carpets. Card need carpets everywhere. Each carpet's going to be worth one point. Up to 11. 12 with the deer rug. 13 with the wolf rug. Very nice. Now we need all the rest of the furniture. Let's go ahead. I'll toss a stool in uh, right here next to the fire, maybe. That's where we'll hang out and cook, right? It's going to bump us up to 14. And then a bench. Need a bench here to sit at. These things are always tricky. Every time I place them, I feel like I'm always sitting the wrong way. Yep. <laughs> Let me flip it around. And again, building this in front of the window helps keep us back away from the window so that we're not, you know, losing that comfort rating. Go ahead and toss the chair up on this side. Completely block off that window. All right. We're up to 15 so far. We only need a couple more things, guys. And what we need requires the forge and a couple of special metal items. A little bit of copper, a little bit of iron. Let's go ahead and pick all that up. We need a chain, coal, copper, iron, bronze. Also going to need this blueberry. All right, so we've got all our bronze, copper, and iron. But, guys, I totally forgot about the banner. The banner definitely helps. The banner's definitely going to give you a little bit of bonus here. I'm going to go ahead and hang this up on the wall just right over here behind the... Or next to the fire pit. This will be nice. Yeah, we'll just hang it up right here. It doesn't really matter where it goes. Boom, 16 comfort. Every little bit helps. So next, we're going to want to throw up the brazier. And guys, that's what we have this little hanging piece for. You can throw up a little one if this gets uh, too, uh, too close for you. All right, so I had to remove the middle post. I swear I've built this cottage before, and, and that middle post um, actually did have support. And I think I might have added a few more of the single beams to give it a little more strength. This is as cheap as it gets, guys. But you can definitely hang this brazier right off of the, the ceilings themselves, and it works perfectly, and we are up to 17 bonus. These things take coal to fuel, though, so you'll have to bring a couple extra coal with you if you want to light those up. Guys, we're up to 17. All right, guys. After that, there's only one thing left. The Maypole, I believe, is the last item that actually brings a little bit of comfort to your life. I just like to put this... I just go ahead and always put this outside, but close enough to where it'll actually count and give us the bonus. We step inside. We should be up to 18. Guys, there it is. The tiniest little cottage. So I did overpack a little bit. I brought enough with me to, to make a sconce and a standing iron torch, but those are not necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that back on the boat, guys. And what I want to do now is go ahead and tear this whole thing down from top to bottom. And then we can look at all of the stuff and the ingredients inside, uh, inside the chests. Because I'll make a couple chests out here to plop everything in. And you'll see exactly what you need to throw this whole thing together from top to bottom. Let me go ahead and clean it all up and get that ready for you. All right, guys, that's it. That's our tiny little cottage. That's the cheapest cottage I think I can make and still have that nice 18 bonus. Yes, look at it. It's awesome. Tiny but functional. We've got the portal inside now. So when you come inside, you just instantly, bam, 18 comfort. You can hang out. Easy access to go home. You can throw up a couple of food, you know, cooking uh, spits here. I don't actually have the inventory for that right now, but... Uh, Honestly, not necessary with the portal. It's really just all here for the comfort. Guys, tell me what you think, you know? Anyway, let me go ahead and tear this thing down. We're going to tear it down from top to bottom. I'll store everything in these chests, and that way you guys can see exactly everything you're going to need to make this cottage. We'll go ahead and put that list, hopefully, somewhere at the beginning of the video and right here at the end of the video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to tearing it down.
right, guys, that looks like it. I'm gonna go ahead and bust down the workbench, the forge, and the stone cutter so that we can go ahead and toss that in the mix because they are necessary to the build even if you don't need to include them in the actual house themselves. All right, guys, that's it. We built it up, we tore it down, we built it up, and we tore it down again. <laughs> but yeah, let's go over the list of everything you're gonna need. So we're gonna need four thistle and four dandelions for the maypole. I believe you also need wood for the maypole. The coal is actually gonna go toward make, making the brazier the, and, and the forge. The copper and the iron are actually here just for the forge and the, uh, and the stone cutter. Uh, 200 wood total, uh, given, I think the house takes, we, we added that up earlier, the house takes a good 150 something or 100, 170 something, I, I forget now, but, uh, you're gonna need 200 about just to craft everything you're going to need, uh, more bronze and copper and coal for the hanging brazier, uh, wood, uh, stone for, uh, the hearth and everything, the blueberries and the, uh, leather scraps for the banner, Guys, you're going to need all this fine wood. You're going to need the nails and all of these furs for the bed, for all the carpets. Um, this is also including the Sertling Core, the Grey Dwarf Eye, and the, and the fine wood you would need to make your portal. So That's it, guys. Here's the final material list. And yeah, that's everything you need to make yourself a little cottage out here in the wilderness, guys. I think it's great. It's going to be super helpful for me. I know I'm really excited to just jump around, plop one of these down everywhere I go, and that way I can just teleport out, get my best rested bonus, and be on my way to explore whatever new continent I just got to. Well, all right, everybody, that's our cottage for the day. It was small, it was cheap, it was easy. I hope it was easy to follow along. Let me know in the comments if you think it's something that you'll actually be able to use in your own world and your own builds. Uh, I think it's going to be super handy for me. I know I'm going to enjoy running around to different continents and just plopping those down really quick and having access to that 18 comfort rating wherever I go, anywhere I go. And it's so easy to travel with this. Um, it's really easy to carry on my inventory, and all the things that can't go through the portal really fit easily on the boat. So this is something that I can travel with too. It's it's just a super simple, easy build. And guys, I hope it's helpful. I hope you guys use it. I hope you like it. But uh, anyway, enough of me rambling. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more adventures in Valheim. Next time we may go and check out the Frozen Norths. I believe I live pretty close to one of those now. And uh, that's a new biome we've never seen. So super exciting, guys. There's so much to this game. We're going to keep going. It's great. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I will catch you in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day.